Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make meteor strike effect. First of all go to tracker and select, track camera. As analyzing has finished, select spots, right click and click on, create null and camera. Now let's bring meteor falling video, I will leave download link in description. Add a keel eyed effect on meteor. Select eyedropper tool and click on the green screen to remove it. Now link meteor with track null layer, and make sure to enable 3D on Meteor layer. Meteor Strike is now tracked on the scene. If you have too much movements in your video, Meteor will fall on the point you will track on. Press S on your keyboard and scale Meteor. Change X or Y rotations if needed like in my case. I like it but, it's too slow, I will speed it up a bit. Go to Time and select, Time Stretch, I will set speed to 80. Now move Meteor Strike to the moment from where you want to start it. That look cool for me. Now it's a masking time. I want my meteor strike to hit behind the building. So I will mask out the building and car scene. Duplicate the actual video and move it to the top of meteor layer. Rename it, background. Delete 3D camera tracker on it, and let's start masking. To mask out, you can use roto brush tool or a pen tool. But, I prefer doing masking and tracking using Mocha AE. Let's jump into the Mocha AE. Select a pen tool and start masking out, in my case I will mask this building and the ground. Correct mask if needed. Once you have finished masking and correcting, click on perspective button and hit the tracking button. If mask moves like in this video, correct the mask and track it backward. Once it has finished tracking, click on save button and close the mocha. Now open mat and select, create AE masks. Meteor is now behind the building and it looks so cool. Let's add more explosions to the video, bring explosion video, I will leave download link for it too. Go to time where meteor hits and move explosion there. To remove the black screen we have two options, first, change explosion mode to, screen. Quick check the video if everything is cool, sometimes, screen mode doesn't work perfectly. Now link explosion with track null layer and make sure to enable 3D on explosion as well. Move explosion to the top and press S on your keyboard to scale it. Change X and Y rotations if needed. Move it back down the background layer. Let's quick check if everything is cool. I don't like how explosion disappeared in the end. That's because the mode is set to screen. Now we will use second method to remove the black screen from it. Change back explosion mode to normal. Add a luma key effect on it. Select key type, key out darker and copy my settings. Our explosion videos can be different if you use other with black screen so, play around with settings until it will look cool for you. That's way better now. Now let's add a shake effect, as the meteor hits the ground, there will be shakes on the video. Let's pre-compose all layers into one layer. Make sure, move all attributes is selected, also toggle on, adjust composition duration and then hit on OK. Go to moment where meteor hits the ground, add a twitch plugin there. If you don't have twitch, check out this video's description, I will leave download link. Once you've added twitch, click on amount stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Change amount to 40 and speed to 20. Press U on your keyboard to see created keyframes. Now go a few frames backward and change amount to zero. Then open enable and select, blur, light and slide. Go few frames forward like in this video and set amount to zero again. Let's check the video. Cool, I'm happy with it. Meteor strike is ready. All you have to do is, add some sound effects on the video, and also add some other effects like in this video's intro, car alarm, or even more, something like cool and creative. Yeah.